Hey guys, what's up? Um, time for an update video. Uh, I'm not sure the last time I did this. Um, it's uh, March 3rd, 2015. It's about um, 11 o'clock at night. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while. That's because I had a blood clot again this uh, winter, and at the beginning of the year, and that kind of uh, kind of put a downer and that took a lot of uh, life out of me, I guess. So that's why there hasn't been a video. Um, I know a lot of people still ask for the clone videos to do some more reviews. I do plan on doing that again. And of course, people mostly want video game videos. I would like to do that more, just you know, eventually. Um, so anyway, just a vlog. You know, I do a few of these a year to update what's going on with my health, etc. And of course, besides health, I'm going to get into uh, some of the stuff I've been doing for the low T, etc., and other random stuff, I guess, just for an update. Um, so before I get into the blood clot, exactly, um, I don't remember where I left off or last thing I did, but um, so of course, before the winter. I was having some trouble walking again. I snapped up my back. Um, my tailbone got messed up. And so trouble walking for about a couple of months. And then I had uh, was in physical therapy again for a while. So that kind of sucks. So I'm just, I'll get into why I'm saying this in a bit. Um, so, you know, kind of stressful, you know, when it's hard. Because that was a long time that trouble walking, a couple of months. Um, and, because, uh, yeah, because that put a little bit of damper on things, obviously. Um, and then the winter, um, I started having a lot of heart pain again and uh, started getting really tired again. You know, felt like I had to take my asthma medicine all the time. And eventually I just went to the doctor and uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I went to the hospital, the ER. You know, I'm not feeling too good, lots of heart pain again. You know, I had that blood clot before I collapsed, that kind of thing. And uh, long story short, basically, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, another blood clot kind of thing. And uh, I was like, oh, well, fuck this. I'm, I'm out of here, <laughs> right? So, um, Sounds kind of stupid, right? But, you know, because they're like, whoa, what are you talking about? You could die. I mean, you can't leave, right? And I'm like, you know what, dude? Didn't you guys, I'm already supposed to die, right? You know what I mean? So they're like, uh, yeah, but, you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's kind of, like I said, I wrote about it on Facebook and people saw it, but it's just like so amazing that my life, you know, I've been through so much that I can just, because, you know, I remember when I first got sick, and of course, you know, geez, they were talking about brain tumors when I first got sick, and I was really sick back then, you know, I was losing all my hair, did that radiation crap, and uh, that was a terrible time, anyway, you know, you get scared, you're crying, and then, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, you think I'll have all these life or death conversations, you know what I mean, and then nowadays it's kind of like, oh yeah, you know, blood clot, you could die, what are you talking about, you know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I'm not supposed to die, right, so uh, I'm out of here, basically, so I had to sign a waiver, you know, you're going against doctor's wishes, and, uh, but the thing is, I already take some blood thinners anyway, because I have that, um, Anti-phospholipid antibody syndrome or whatever, so kind of blood clotting anyway. But um, so yeah, that that took a bit of life out of me. Um, besides this one, so like, I'm thinking about stress and stuff. So uh, sorry, my throat's really dry. Oh, fuck. So other stuff. Um, one of the shitty things about uh, I've had like a rough, you know, six months too. I've had a lot of night sweats really badly. And of course, uh, I've been putting off some of that cancer doctor stuff for a while because I don't want to do a bone marrow biopsy because uh, I don't want any more bad news. That's been going on for a few years, so you know, you're thinking maybe, you know, maybe it's the anemia kind of thing, or maybe it's something even worse, right? But if it's something worse, I don't want to know about it. So I haven't really been trying to uh, think about it. You know, that's been going on for years, but I've had like really bad night sweats, kind of, you know, on and off for about six months now. So that's kind of sucked, and uh, again, I'm just thinking about like the stress. Of course, I had the trouble walking, I had this blood clot thing, and one of the shitty things that has happened because one of the things I told myself, obviously, I don't know, maybe not obviously because I don't remember what the fuck I say half the time in these videos, is after the winter I wanted to get back into the modeling again and stop turning down all these modeling jobs and make some extra money. You know, I was gonna start toning down the workout stuff. You know, try to make some extra money, but it's been a pretty rough six months, and I've been losing a lot of hair again, actually. So that kind of sucked. I, because uh, I get that uh, what's it called, telugium, telugium, whatever it's called. That's what the doctors write on. You know, it's like that stress hair loss. You know, just from being sick so much. You know what I mean? And of course, I get I'm super anal about my hair. You know what I mean? I get super scared. And uh, so they're talking about you know, you know, I was get afraid like it's not gonna grow back because when I did, you know, I had all that thyroid radiation stuff and when I first got sick with all the thyroid like I lost most of my hair and it was really bad and it took me like a couple of years to grow it back so I'm pretty anal about that so you know losing a lot of hair and uh, 
I started getting kind of like, I've never had dandruff before or anything, so I didn't even know what was going on. So I guess this, like, I had this, like, delusion, this stress hair loss, and for the first time I got this, like, the, I think the doctors were calling it like, subramen cerberic dermatitis or some crap. I don't know. It's not exactly dandruff, but I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was actually getting, like, red marks on my head and, like, spots where the hair was, like, falling out, and it was, like, kind of actually painful, actually. You know, I read about it, so I don't know what the fuck it was. The doctors, that's what they were saying it was, and, you know, they tried to give me... I was just there recently, they were trying to give me like some shampoo or some crap for it, and but the thing is, I was already using some like keto console shampoo or something for that, so I just think it's nice because I don't know if you can tell, but maybe because it's not too bad, but I mean, I can tell, but my hair really thinned out on my hairline, and I had a couple of random spots on my head where I was losing a lot of hair, just like red marks, and I was like, well, geez, that's not fucking, you know, I guess I got a lot of like, you know, hair still, but I mean, um, you know, I lost a lot, I could tell, and um, that's not exactly super great right now, I guess, so that's kind of a dumber. Look, dumber is dumb, too, but it's a bummer, because like I said, I've been thinking about trying to get into that modeling again, just to make some extra money, stop turning down all these jobs, you know. Anyway, so let's get that, you know, other than that, um, health is kind of uh, what it is, I guess. Uh, those are probably the only interesting things to say. So let's talk about the testosterone stuff to see if this is interesting. So, okay, the low testosterone stuff, what have I been doing? So I started having a theory again around the time of last year. Uh, well, last year, I mean, towards uh, the end of the summer, basically, uh, fall. I started thinking, uh, reading all these, like, different ways because I don't want it to ever, you know, I don't want to do the TRT. I don't want to take the shots, and the Clomid is too hard to take, and uh, the Rimadex cancer stuff is too hard to take. So I'm trying to think about just like totally natural. Like why the fuck would I have like all this low testosterone stuff all the time? It's not getting better. Better. Better no matter what I do, okay? So I was uh, just thinking about different things. And I read that um, uh, I was reading about stuff like copper ratios, like zinc to copper ratios and stuff like that. And on a lot of my tests, my zinc is not very good. And uh, I don't know what my copper is, but my zinc isn't very good. Vitamin D isn't very good. And so I started taking a shitload of zinc. Started taking like 30 more extra milligrams or something of zinc a day. And I started taking them take about 5,000 to 7,000 extra of vitamin D. Actually, extra day. And, uh, and that's my idea was because I was reading that a lot of people that take, because I, since I have trouble eating because of the Crohn's disease and all that kind of stuff, you know, it's hard for working out to like eat a lot of food at once. So one of the things I do is I eat a lot of cashews, actually. And I guess, bro science here, but I guess the test proved it at least. You know, cashews, like the copper to zinc ratio, is super fucked up in them, right? And especially for a man. So I guess it looked like I was eating too much copper, and it was actually fucking up my estrogen and my testosterone levels a little bit. So... Uh, again, the people that follow me are know exactly what I've been doing, and of course, this journal is kind of for me anyway, if I ever look back on this. So basically, with just that 30 milligrams of zinc or whatever, okay, well, actually, let me, to make this more, to clarify this more. Um, so, because remember, I, I started like, and I should say before I get to this, my free testosterone still has not changed at all, but the total testosterone has, right? So, you know, my total testosterone when I started all this crap was like 300, right? Trying to Clomid or Rimbidex, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I got my testosterone up a little bit, but again, it never raised the free testosterone. You know, I was taking herbs and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, but taking all this extra zinc and all this extra vitamin D, and, you know, I haven't taken the Clomid in a while, and maybe this test was just a fluke, but during this winter, I actually had a test that my testosterone raised to 800. Like, no joke. So, like, not only is that normal, that's, like, fucking actually pretty good, right? So my testosterone raised, like, you know, raise like 500 fucking points. You know what I mean? So that even leads me to believe, yeah, it was my copper ratio was fucked up. My estrogen also, it's not good for a guy, but it did lower a little bit. It wasn't in the 50s anymore. It's like low 40s, high 30s, you know what I mean? So not great, but I mean, still. So again, that almost seems so high that it seems like a fluke, but I mean. But uh, I will say one thing, though. Unfortunately, though, my free testosterone has still not risen whatsoever. And I assume that's why I've had a lot of side effects still. You know what I mean? But, um, uh, so that's, I just thought that was interesting. Again, so all that, so obviously, you know, I was like, zinc, my zinc was not good, but I started taking more. That's actually, that stuff actually has, like, risen my uh, total testosterone, all that kind of stuff. 
Again, not my free testosterone, but it's not changed whatsoever. Anyway, have I noticed any side effects or different symptoms just from my total testosterone rising though? Um, I will say I still feel really fucking tired. That doesn't change. Like fatigue, uh, concentrating is still hard. Uh, in terms of concentration, the only thing that I can say is a little bit better is when I go to sleep, sometimes it's like hard to think. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but you like, a lot of times you go to sleep, right? But before this happened, I started having trouble, like, um, thinking while trying to go to sleep. It was hard to think. I, that sounds retarded, but it was. So hard to think, all right? And um, hard to think while sleeping, trying to go to sleep. But I think that's helped a little bit, at least in the pain in the back of my head, especially when I had that one blood clot. You know, that made that a lot worse, that kind of pain. But I, I felt this is, that's a little bit better still. Still an everyday concentration is not good. That's a little bit better. Um, um, have I felt like more horny or anything since then? You know, this is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've felt more horny per se or anything like that. So again, I think that's because the free testosterone is the most important. But I will say I felt like um, less of a filter since, you know, my total testosterone is risen, like, in by less of a filter, I felt, um, I felt, uh, I felt, like, kind of, like, not holding back as much what I say. Like, okay, like, say, okay, well, say I saw a hot girl, right, which happens. <laughs> like, a lot of times I'll see a girl, like, even today, right, I saw a girl, and we're just, like, we talked a little bit, and it's just, like, I don't think she watches this, but that'd be kind of funny if she did. I've obviously talked to a few girls, so it could be anyone, right? But anyway, um, so we were talking or whatever, and it's just kind of like, I feel like sometimes like the no filter kind of thing, and I mean that by sometimes when I just talk to someone, I kind of feel like it, they're good looking, right? Like just kind of like, just kind of be like, what to do? Like, dude, you're so fucking hot. Like, dude, like I would just love to fucking like fuck the shit out of you, like, I just feel like kind of being like that straightforward, like, dude, like, no filter, dude, you know what I mean, like, I have felt, uh, less of a filter since my testosterone has risen a little bit, um, and that isn't to say, and that just, like, I felt like kind of just saying things a lot, kind of like just not giving a fuck, like, dude, you're hot as fuck, dude, like, I don't give a fuck, like, I just kind of, I kind of feel like, just like being like super blunt, and I don't, give a fuck, like, I think you're good looking, like, if you hate me, like, I don't give a fuck, dude, like, do you know, I don't know, it's, like, hard to explain. Now, that isn't to say, though, that I felt more horny or anything, per se, because, um, I definitely have not felt like, uh, I don't, and because it's still only for girls that I think are good looking, like, I'm still, I still am, like, super picky, I guess, um, like, I don't feel like... <laughs> messaging back any of these other hundreds of girls that message me for sex all the time, like that kind of thing. Like, I don't feel like, you know, that I need to, like, I don't feel like I need to do it or anything, like, anymore. But I feel like with girls that I think are good looking, I feel like a little bit less of a filter. Um, and that isn't to say I feel more confident or anything either, because that's definitely not true, because, um, you know, I went out recently, and, uh, you know, I, I've said before, like, sometimes I go out and, like, I'm like super on, you know, I've had my autograph asked for out when I'm out, you know, I'm just got people all around me, super like social butterfly, you know what I mean? Doing super good and uh, you know. But hey, you know, I went out recently and I made a total fool of myself in front of this girl and I got super nervous, you know what I mean? So I mean I still get nervous and everything like that. Like that hasn't changed, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I'm super good, sometimes, you know, just boom, girl hits you with like a crest smile or something and and I'm just like an idiot or something, but uh so that hasn't changed, but I have felt like less of a filter sometimes while talking to girls. Like, I don't give a fuck. That kind of thing. Um, maybe, maybe, again, it's not, but it's not like I don't, I don't feel like I need to have sex though or something like that with like, uh, but I guess maybe it's just because I've always been picky. Um, still like nocturnal erections or anything like that. Um, that's still not that great, but less of a filter. Um, uh, what else should I say? Is there anything else I should say? I feel like just, that's the less of a filter kind of thing. Like, just kind of, sometimes I just feel like messaging girls, like, dude, I just feel like telling them some bullshit. Not bullshit, but real shit. <laughs> real shit, not bullshit. You know, I just kind of feel like saying stuff sometimes now. You know what I mean? I felt like the less of a filter. Um, 
God, I felt like I had something else to say to this. Um, so yeah, uh, I still, I'm sure you know the tired legs said the fatigue is still. I'm still, still super fatigued and all that kind of stuff. So I assume it's because the free testosterone has never risen and uh, you know, uh, still not super horny. Just I kind of feel like hmm, it's hard to explain. I guess right. Um, hmm. what else should I talk about? Uh, is there anything else? Uh, workout stuff. I'm still working out. I can post a picture, you know. Still, you know, I'm trying to figure out ways to like uh, condense my routine now. I'd like to get buffered, but you know, I'm trying to be realistic about it. Uh, um, other things. Uh, any other interesting stories? Uh, hmm. Something funny, can I say? Because I've been pretty sick again, I haven't been that social again this winter. I don't know, so I've been online a lot again. And, uh, you know, people are still pretending to be me on the internet to, like, go along with that catfish thing. And the funny thing is because I have, uh, I haven't, to people, I know, because some people from 4chan actually watch this, uh, watch my videos, which is weird. Not weird, because I don't care, but. And, uh, so I don't know if the people that pretend to be me on 4chan actually watch my videos, too, but, uh. I've only posted on 4chan a few times this entire winter, and so one of the things I've been doing is I kind of just put out, I'll, I'll like creep to see if someone's pretending to be me, and I saw it a few times, and the funny thing is, like I said, it's always amazing to me that uh, I'll see these guys, people pretending to be me, and I started posting to this guy, and no one believed that the real me was me, like that's so fucking stupid, and like, I got kind of pissed because, you know, the guy that's pretending to be me, he was like, you know, kind of talking shit about people, so it's kind of like, don't fucking use my pictures to make me look like an asshole, right? I mean, that, um, you know, uh, some of the funny things, so I just, I don't know, I, I always think it's kind of funny to think about it. all these people that t steal my pictures, like, did they do better than me? Again, I've said that before, but I think that's kind of funny. I know I had some people from that, uh, one Interpal site or whatever, uh, they were thinking that I was a fake, too, because I made the real account to stop that guy, and now they think that I'm the fake. And the weirdest thing is they even thought that the video I posted talking about it, like, it was a fake video, and then they started asking me for, like, oh, of course, I get a shitload of messages from gay dudes on there, but they started asking me, like, uh, they started, like, asking me to prove I was real on Skype or something like that, and then I asked them, like, all my videos on Skype are fake, like, it's just amazing to me that, you know, I just must not have the personality that, since I'm actually in nice, I guess, I must not have the personality that I, I look like I have. Um, and that's funny too because uh, sometimes I go on these dating sites, right? <laughs> I was talking to Crystal about it, and we we joke that uh, because people don't message me because they think I'm fake usually. Almost, I would say about ninety percent of the time, right? More than that, right? And so we joke like uh, you know because people say, well, like put your rich or something like that. So I put I'm like a millionaire on these dating sites now. Still no messages, dude. And you think, come on, there's like if there's two petty things, you got to think that the girl either is gonna go. Right for the looks or like the money, right? So I put like I'm a millionaire. And that's not even that I think I'm that cool, right? But so I put like I'm a millionaire, still no messages. Like people just don't believe but you know, I see these people that steal my pictures on the internet and they like take my and they get all these messages or something like that. It's just so it's fucking blows my mind, I guess. Um I just don't talk like I look or something. I don't know what to say. Um so yeah, it was kind of funny, kind of lame too, because it's like, uh, you know, I don't really think I'm that cool or anything, but I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, I just think that's kind of that's always kind of weird that those catfish thing. And I'm sure you know, I'm not like super internet famous or anything. People steal my pictures, but I'm sure I'm not like you know, tons of people. You know, you see these random girl models that I'm sure it happens to all the time. But I just think it's funny because you know, still when you see that though, the real them has lots of people and like. The real me does not get that much at all. You know what I mean? I just think that's... I just need to be more of an asshole, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess that no filter thing. I mean, I definitely... Uh, did seriously. I mean, sometimes I'm just like... Some, does that... Maybe that means I'm a little more horny. I don't know. But I would think if I'm more horny lately, I would think that I... I don't feel the need... I guess I'm just not desperate. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't feel the need to have, like, sex with random girls still. I just... Maybe I've always just been too picky. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, so that's kind of like my update. Um, I don't know, like I said, I'm bummed about my hair has been so bad. Like, I mean, I don't know. You can't really tell, but I mean, 
my hairline's got fucked up in just random spots. Like that's kind of scary because it's like red and it's actually hurting. Um. Um. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh. That was probably my update. So um, I guess the people who watch this, yes, that is me on Interpals if I post that or something or any other dating site. And the people that steal my pictures, which I see, who knows how many sites, but I know I see online dating sites and fortune. You know, if you do that, just please don't stop making me look like an asshole if you're gonna like uh, steal my picture. You know what I mean? Uh, make me look cool. But I guess they get more responses when they do that anyway, right? So maybe it just works. Um. You know, so yeah. Uh. That's it. I'd like to do more clone stuff. I do have some reviews I'd like to do coming up. Uh, we got quite a few samples coming in there and bought some new stuff. So uh, and the video stuff. I know people want some more video game stuff. I just I'm just so not really horny about video games. It's hard to like pump myself up to do it a lot of times. But I'll try to get to it. Um, all right. That was uh, March third, uh, two thousand fifteen. Man, thanks.